I got this German donut kebab. This um, this it's called a GDK German donut kebab. Is this? I'll show you. Hold on. Yeah, but them have a salad box. I have fries from the bottom. Some of garlic sauce, spicy sauce, and yogurt sauce. My other here so before now. The last time I come. properties absolutely beautiful literally not too far ago it was a completely different area can't see it very well but this one even has like a waterfall man-made of course but that's crazy completely different area it's giving pride in the prejudice bridgerton vibes wow <laughs> all the way to Camden Rock and what's really cool is that Jada and I came a little under a year ago and I walked all the way here this time so if you want to go back to my very first London vlog you'll recognize this area but instead I came from this direction so that's pretty cool pretty darn cool I still have food and water left over but yeah people are taking pictures it's a very beautiful you spot everything. take a walk around this park it's on my way to the hotel and it's giving me like this english countryside kind of a vibe it's starting to get cold, but I'm still very warm, even though I'm wearing like just a t-shirt and, and um, shorts. I still feel good, but the weather is getting colder and the sun is going away. I think that's why. But isn't it just calming? <laughs> I know you haven't seen much of anything yet, but we're going to go for a walk. All right, guys, the sun is back out. I even took my hat off for a second a while ago, but I couldn't see. So I put it back on, but the sun is back out and shining. It's a good day. I wish I had a blanket. If I had a blanket, I'd just set up right here and lay down. But I'm gonna walk back to the hotel, which should take about should take about 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna go sleep. A long sleep I don't leave until 2 p.m. tomorrow so I have more than enough time for wake up even 6 a.m. and still go up on the road and do some stuff but as for now I really feel lightheaded like mega drop down so I'm gonna make my way back to the hotel make sure you like comment share and subscribe and stay tuned Good morning, we have a slight update. So, I woke up really early this morning. I woke up around 6 a.m., but I never got out of bed, right? Never got out of bed, and I was feeling real, like, 
the more I laid in bed and scroll away on my phone, the more tired I got. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to go to sleep. I was going to even skip the gym today, but I'm like, mm -mm, I'm not going to skip the gym. I'm just going to wake up at 9 a.m., right? Um, so I just went to sleep and my alarm kept waking me up. So I woke up at 9 a.m. when I roll over and check and I'm seeing that pickup time is, no, flight departure is 8 a.m. So I'm like, wait a minute. That don't make sense because it's 9 a.m. right now. We we're supposed to get picked up at 2. So how could the time for departure now be 8 a.m.? Like, uh, you know, like, we just wake up while I'm asleep and I saw uh, the math's not really adding up. So it's just really creepy. I'm not even freaked out. Normally, I would jump up. I'm like, oh, my God, what's going on? I'm just like, well, if, if they're gone, they're gone. Like, well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> um, But then I saw that it's 8 a.m., the next day. So I'm like, wait a minute. We delayed? <laughs> we, are we delayed? So my three-day trip is now a four-day trip. And I have training tomorrow. And my flight for training leaves at 9 a.m. But we won't land until 10.20. Like, I won't be released until like 11.21. And at two different airports. So I'm like, when are they gonna update my schedule? Like, I had to call, I had to call the um the purser, and she didn't know because she was at the gym. She didn't know, and trust me, I it's like almost as if I wake up at the right, the exact right time because the notification I think came in at 11:59, and I woke up at nine. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, bear with me. I don't know what's going on, but I got a whole other day. Well, it's not a whole other day. Um, technically, it is almost like a friggin' 40-something, no, 30-something hour layover, which is I can't complain. I can't complain. And the flight load for tomorrow is even less than it was today. I cannot complain. Like, I can't make this stuff up. Um... But the next thing, though, no, is by training, what's going to happen? Because I don't want them... Well, obviously, they're going to know that I'm not a no-show because there's a there's paperwork, you know? But um, I don't know what to do, so I'm going to go to the gym. I got my gym clothes on. I can't keep procrastinating. And I'm going to go buy food. I'm going to link up with Jada. We're going to go on a stroll because she's back in London. Um, I just, it, it's been a, it's been a pleasant time. It's been a pleasant time. I rated a 10 out of 10. Like, it's unbelievable. It's, it's, it's magnificent. And if they remove my training, which I'm not even getting my hopes up for because I learned my lessons way too late. If they remove the training and give me training on another days, because I have some days in two, in week after next week, I have some days where they could move my training. Then I could pick up a trip. Bro, <laughs> don't, 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 don't. I was thinking I would have to, I was going to come to London. I'm trying to figure out which one of these lights. I was going to come to London at the end of the month. Um, There we go. I was going to come to London at the end of the month. But look at me. This is my third full day in London in this week. So... I mean, do I need to come? <laughs> this is my little outfit though. I got my little skirt, my Converse, my little peplum type top. I just half tucked the front, and my my um my studio baguette, some shades, and we're about to go. I have dinner with Jada tonight at six forty-five, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna try a. Um, African cuisine restaurant so she said she's excited to try and I'm excited I'm gonna get her a gift because she said dinner is on her and I'm just like what are you sh are you kidding me like I was just I was shook so I want to get her a nice little thank you gift so we're gonna get that too bye hey KFC. I was gonna get a English breakfast but it's literally 3 15 so I won't be able to get that. But I got a two piece, a regular um, two piece combo, fries and drink. I got the Lipton peach, never tried that before. 
place. Not even not ice, not any other. Well, I don't really like ice. Hmm? Leg and tie, yeah. Leg and tie with some fries. Ain't nobody. Now I just need to find somewhere to go. I got no idea. Um, our pickup time changed again from 5 a.m. to 6.35 a.m. So the flight just keeps getting more and more delayed. Let me, let me just take a bite. Fries are so good. Alright, I'm gonna try to find like a park or something, I don't know, to go to. And we can eat. I have training tomorrow, but we don't get back until after 12. And my flight's supposed to leave. My flight's supposed to leave at 9. 9 a.m. so nobody has called me yet it is not my job to call them but I don't know if it gets to like 7 o'clock tonight and they don't call me I'll try to call but I don't want to get charged either but anyways let's go this is not I know this is not really the most oh my god thing to do but I found myself a nice good spot under the tree the only thing I'm regretting is that I did not bring a um, sheet and I flew with a crew member before and she said whenever she's going anywhere like a park or the beach she just bring one of the sheet them from the hotel or one of the towels and I completely forgot but there's a lot of people just raw dogging it out here too anyways like just sitting down just so if i had brought my jacket this girl is sitting on her jacket that's what i should have done but it's such a nice day like you wouldn't believe how many people are here in the park like and some um caucasian people are tanning and they're so red they're so red you wouldn't believe them look like tomato them red um yeah anyways here's my kfc i'm really hungry so. i'm gonna um i'm not putting my bag on the grass <laughs> so i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put it on top of this paper bag yeah that gives me a little bit more freedom perfect it really is a nice day when i tell you these fries are so good it's like them season them real nice they is very nice i think these are probably the best kfc fries that i've had including with competition with jamaica these are really good fries Chicken. Let's see. I like that it comes in this um paper bag instead of a box. So I'm going to people watch for the next hour and then I'll probably just walk around the whole park and then head back to the hotel and get ready for dinner with Jada. I'm going to get some soft serve ice cream. And they have them over here a lot of people are getting them and they look really delicious so i think i'm gonna get myself one walk along the water and do like a whole u-turn back towards the hotel so i can get ready for dinner there it is it's so cute 
My little vanilla soft serve ice cream. It's really pretty. Let me turn around so you can see it better. I don't know what that is. Is that a piece of vanilla? Like, what is that? Is it chocolate? I love chocolate. It smells like chocolate though. <laughs> but it is really cute. Make sure y'all check out my TikTok because I have short form content for this stuff as well. And yeah, make sure you like up the video, comment, share, and subscribe. And now let's go walk along the water. Starters came out, and this one is a Aki Tartlet. I'm sorry, I'm not good at pronouncing that. The music is playing, so I'm gonna be quick. But it's Aki, and it looks really good. And then there is this Kalaloo Puff, and or Poof. I don't want to say it wrong. It is very beautiful. They both are very beautiful. And my wine is the Lebron. Um, it tastes so good. I will be getting that more often. Yeah. Hey. I'm here with Jada. Hey. I'll be talking about Jada. I'm gonna make this two vlogs because yeah. I've been um, to London the past the whole week now really okay so i was telling them in the first part how oh i walked here with jada when i did the panel oh, wow. initially so yeah, yeah. this if you're new here this is jada and if you didn't check out that yeah. first london vlog this is jada <laughs> subscribe okay make okay. sure you go and subscribe to our jada channel top. i'll link it down below Hi. So, puff i think what they call it is really nice they do a good job I already ate off like 90% of it, but it's actually, yeah, it's very moist, oh, it's almost like a croissant and like Kalaloo artichoke dip, if that makes sense, to me at least. Mm. And once you're the aki something tastes like. Wow, okay, then people you know, it's like them are tea full of food and yeah, it's really nice actually. They cook the color, um, the ackee really well. Yeah, but it's not overly oily. I feel like with our ackee. Oh, the beef is too right. Oh. You need to rewatch that video. You no, need to watch it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, cheers. Let me get this some little shim shim shot. Maybe get an extra, you can see mine with me. Yeah. Alright, guys. I'm taking my enough cell phone out of baby guineas. You and you know what? This is so cool. You didn't say. You know what, though? It's in the name. No one will know. And you're smiling. You might laugh because I know people do it often. We are leaving now, thank you. Jade, I look tired. I am so exhausted, darling. <laughs> thank you for an amazing night. Thank you for coming to London. Ah, I'll be back. <laughs> they know I'll be back. This is my new this is my new city. Like some more London just 
it fits you. It, it fits fit me though. You. It really does. It fits me. I'm not spend no money for accommodation or food. Whoa, what a life! What, nice what life. a life! But yeah, it's it's actually nice sometimes. I, I hear the struggle and I understand the struggle. Come in winter, let's see your opinion. No, cause New York Buffalo winter really is different. Good morning. So I'm heading to the airport now. I really and truly believe my London vlog has come to an end unless I pick up another London trip before the end of this month. This really should be it. So I spent a total of three full days in London in the past week. Um, that's crazy to me. That's really, I'm really excited. Is it three or is it more than three? Almost four full days in London in the past week. So I'm super amazing. Um, I did my makeup this morning. I fixed my hair. I am ready. The flight is empty. I am ready. I'm so excited. I'm trying to not be too excited <laughs> about that in case I pull up to the airport and then it completely changes. But for now, it is looking real good. Um, yeah, the only thing I'm sad about is that I completely, 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 completely forgot that I wanted to go to Marks and Spencer's and Sainsbury's maybe even that I could have even gone to Tesco or some and picked up some um, pasta and sandwiches the same things that you saw in the last video and if you're over on TikTok you probably saw those as well um my mom and Kevin really liked them so I was like dang I completely forgot because I got back to the hotel last night after midnight and I'm just Jesus all these places are closed like I just felt really bad but hey money in my account so I can't complain but if I do see something um even remotely similar to them in duty free area of the airport then I'll get that but I just want to say thank you so much for liking the video <laughs> thank you for taking your time to watch it always supporting always showing love thank you to those who have subscribed and if you haven't please hit that subscribe button down below and join the b squad and i will see you guys in the next one bye you like this i like in my love i love being your love i'm trying to show you DJ. Love. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, <laughs> she really did hey this girl she really my favorite girl I'm loving the way